Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma Asher and this channel is where you're going to learn how to incorporate your health and fitness into your regular lifestyle and still achieve the dream body you've always wanted. So today I'm going to take you through a glute workout, okay? We're going to build that booty. If you haven't got any weights at home, anything available to you, then you can still do this workout with your body weight. It's more important, guys, that while we're at home that you still keep moving. Don't just do nothing and then expect to pick up where you left off when the gym's open. Just perform it with body weight and then you're gonna be ready to rock and roll when the gym's open again. <laughs> Then we're gonna come back here and I'm gonna to talk to you about the importance of building muscle. So we want to build muscle, lose fat, that is the way that you're going to get your dream body. But before that, let's go work out. Protein, I think about 12 grams. It's going to go in there. And then I've been using this protein powder recently. Uh, this is a Nutribio one. This is available from Island Naturals. And it's got, uh, well, it hasn't, it's not got any fillers or anything in it. It's got all those nose, nose, nose down there. Uh, so it's supposed to be the cleanest protein powder out there in the world or something. 
Um, so that's what I'm using at the moment. Love it. Just gonna full scoop in there. And then what smoothie is a smoothie without um, some kind of fruit? So I'm gonna put these frozen berries in. I've been ages in the freezer. I've got a few of those in. Like that. Then a little bit of water, and then I'm going to put it in the Nutribullet. There. Ice cream. See what it looks like. Oh my word. Look at this for a treat. Oh shit. <laughs> so have a look at this. Oh my word. It's going to be like ice cream. So it's protein powder, frozen berries, ice, um, and that yogurt. That's it. Can't wait to eat that. I'm gonna lick that as well. Because obviously you have to. Yum. And I'm so impressed that that's the first time I've used the Nutribullet and I've not overfilled it. Usually everything just comes spraying out. So, success. Okay guys, we're here today to talk a little bit about building muscle. Build muscle, lose fat, body recomposition. So the majority of my clients come to me with one problem and that is they want to lose weight. Then they lose a lot of weight and then they realize that they still don't like the shape that they've become. And that's because they haven't set time aside to preserve their muscle and to grow more muscle. So it's so important in our gym routines that we set aside time to build muscle in the gym with weights or resistance training. I know that's a little bit difficult at the moment because the gyms are closed. I think we've all been in lockdown now for at least five or six weeks, I don't even know how long. However, at home, there is things that we can do. I know a lot of you have got dumbbells or bands, and obviously you've got your own body weight as well, so that all adds to resistance. But the problem with that is, to build muscle effectively and to keep progressing, you need to progressively overload your muscle. That's how you're gonna grow. Um, and that's where the problem comes in with home workouts really that you can't you can't keep up in the weight to progressively overload your muscle you need to either increase the weight or you need to increase the amount of reps so at home if you have dumbbells of your own then if you're doing 10 reps one week then the next week try and do 12 try and keep progressing like that that's the best thing that you can do while you're at home hopefully the gyms will be open again soon I miss you guys if you're my client <laughs> can't wait till we're back in the gym and we can lift some decent weight again so why build muscle so your skeleton and your muscle is the structure of your body and you can build the muscle in the right places to completely re-sculpt your body it's possible if you're somebody that carries problem weight on their tummy and you feel like you've got quite a wide waist. What we can do in the gym is we build your shoulders and your back and your lats, okay? So, so that you've got a nice firm structure at the top and your bum as well. So we want that X frame or that hourglass figure. So we build the shoulders, we build your bum and that gives the illusion of a small waist. So women come to me and they want to be toned and they don't really know what toned means. They say they don't want to build muscle, but they want to be toned. But in actual fact, it's the same thing. So a toned physique is one that has a good muscle base and a lean, low body fat percentage so that you can see that definition in your muscle. It doesn't have to be big muscle. It just has to be defined. I encourage all my clients to build muscle, get in the gym, give them some heavy weights. And at first they can be a little bit dubious, the thought of building muscle because they don't want to look bulky. They don't want to, they don't want to look like a man, right? You're not going to look like a man. Uh, you're not going to look like a man. And also, 
you know it takes a lot of time to build quality muscle start focusing on building that muscle and there is a whole heap of reasons why building muscle is in your best interest no matter who you are building muscle will help your aesthetic goals you will look so much better your confidence will soar through the roof your health will improve your metabolism will be will be higher so you can eat more food and maintain your weight i think we all want that nice firm look and that's what weight training or resistance training is going to give you so if you're somebody that loses a lot of weight through cardio alone so cardio being like the steady state kind of um cardio like running walking cycling they all definitely have their part in losing weight and getting towards your dream body it shouldn't make up the majority of your fitness program you want to be building muscle in the gym everybody wants abs right how do i get abs? I want to do abs I want to do like a million sets of abs in there in the gym and it's not that you haven't got abs now people say oh I haven't got abs I say it myself just because it's funny but everybody's got abs but to see your abs you need to cut the fat down on your body to reveal the muscle and that's the same with any muscle on your body a person holding a lot of body fat you're not going to see that muscle underneath if you cut the, the body fat down, then you can start to see those lines, those lines of definition and that shape being revealed underneath. If you don't work on your muscle growth or your maintenance of that muscle, then when you diet down, your muscle is still very small and you'll diet down and there won't be any shape to reveal. You'll just be the same shape as you were when you were carrying the excess body fat. You'll just be a smaller version of that shape. Okay, so I may have talked you into building muscle. You might be up for it. Yes, let me build muscle. How do I do it? How long is it going to take? When am I going to start seeing these changes? And I'm sure you've heard before that patience is everything and consistency is key. All fitness people say that. Consistency is key and it is so important that you just keep turning up week after week after week after week. And if you ever fall off track, you go on holiday, vacation, whatever, probably not right now because <laughs> we're on lockdown. But, um, you know, these things come up, you might fall off track for a little bit. It's important just the next week just to jump back on track again, get back in the gym because it's consistency over time, which is going to get your results. So I would say to you, if you honestly want the transformation, you want to set aside a year, a whole year. And I know that seems like a very, very long time. We're all on lockdown, lockdown at the moment due to the coronavirus. So we are pretty limited with what we can do. However, we can still work towards our goals in that time. And it's actually a brilliant time to really focus on what you want. So no excuses, the coronavirus, no excuses. If you want to build muscle, you can start right now in your house today. And then by the time the gym's open, you're all set to go to start progressively overloading. So I said to give yourself a year. However, conversely, I also want to point out what big differences can be made in a short amount of time. So if you are completely new to working out and you dedicate yourself a few weeks, you will see really, really good changes. If your nutrition's on point, if you're sleeping, if you're getting your workouts in, you can see big differences. And even two weeks, you know, two week periods, we can do those check-ins. And those little changes over the course of a year, you can see a massive difference. So don't let the fact that it's a year overwhelm you. Just take one week at a time, one day at a time. Just work away at your goals it doesn't even have to be fitness whatever your goal is do something every day every week to get closer to your end goal so if you want your dream body in a year you can do that it's so achievable but you just have to make sure that you prioritize it and you're working towards it every day <clears throat> So if you're serious about transforming your body, weightlifting is a very important part of achieving that body that you want. However, there are other components as well that are equally as important. If you're somebody that needs to cut excess body fat, using cardio will help you to increase your energy output 
to help you stay in a calorie deficit, which brings me to your nutrition. It's really important that your nutrition is on point. And I'm not suggesting to you that you have to live on chicken and broccoli. I think a lot of people think, because I'm fitspo, that that's all I eat, and that's not the case at all. I do prioritize vegetables and fruits and lean protein, but I'm human. I still want, you know, pizza and Pringles and, cinnamon rolls and <laughs> all that food so uh, you know as part of a balanced diet we can have those treats but i would say the majority of the time you need to be focused on the right foods if you really want your goal then you want to make progress ab absolutely optimal so you want to prioritize that wholesome food and just little treats here and there of fun food as I like to call it, cinnamon rolls. <laughs> when we go to the gym and we lift weights, the idea is that we break down your muscle fibers. Yes, this is what we do. And that's why the next day, two days after, you feel quite sore because we, we've, we've damaged the muscle fibers. We're supposed to do that. That's what the idea of a workout is. Okay, so now you've got your damaged muscle fibers. Now you need to go home and you need to fuel your body properly okay because we want our body to heal that's when you need your protein if you know me already <laughs> you'll know that i'm always going on about you know increasing your levels of protein because quite often in this day and age with what we tend to eat we're very high fat high carb and fairly low protein so we really have to prioritize the protein that we eat in our diet so you want to fuel your body properly you want to eat that protein but also you do need to eat carbs as well because the carbs help to shuttle that protein to your muscles so now we've exercised we've damaged our muscle we've gone home and we've fed our body an appropriate amount of calories and those nutrients and the right amount of macros to optimize our muscle growth now the next important step is that you sleep yes we need to sleep we do not grow in the gym we damage the muscle in the gym it's only when we sleep that we grow the muscle so when our body is completely relaxed and it hasn't got to worry about any other factors any other stress it's not fight or flight getting ready to do something else when it's at sleep that then it can put all that food to good use and it shuttles the food to the muscle and then it will repair the muscle. It will grow back firmer. It will grow in density and in size. Now that doesn't happen overnight. I wish it did. I have been training for five years and I'm still nowhere near how I want to look. I love my body how it is and it's changed so much but I still have goals. You know, as you get to one goal, you kind of, it's never enough. You know, when people say that it's a journey it really is a journey but you never ever get to your destination because you're always moving those goal posts because when you actually get to one goal you want to develop and progress even more and get to another goal and that's how we get better and better okay guys so i hope you got something from that ladies i hope you're ready to build some good quality muscle in the gym when it reopens and in the meantime resistance training at home is fine use a band pick up some weights some water bottles or whatever people are suggesting do some push-ups do some tricep dips do some air squats and then you're going to be ready to go when the gyms open again <sighs> wow guys i can talk a lot i just edited that last clip of me talking and it it started off 20 minutes long. I don't know how long it is now, but uh, I got a lot to say. If you got this far, thank you so much for watching all the way. Please like the video. It's going to really help me out on YouTube. So click that like button. If you want to see some more of the same kind of stuff, then subscribe, hit the notification bell and comment below if you're already on a muscle building program or if this has inspired you to start a new training program. I would love to hear from you. I will comment back and until next time, See you later!